Let's look at this issue of interest, simple interest and compound interest. Now, we're going to look at some basic differences between simple interest and compound interest. Now I have interest per year here because this is our percent per year. Uh, this is the, the, the usual way that you pay interest or you are paid interest. Right? It could be a case where you need money to buy a car, some furniture, to invest in a business, to buy a house, whatever it is, all right? And you borrow some money from the bank. Now, you're going to give the bank back that money over a period of time. But remember, at the bank, they have bills to pay, they have workers to pay, and so on and so forth. So they charge you an interest, in other words, a rent on the money that they lend to you. So the usual way is to charge you a certain amount of money out of every hundred dollars, which, which is a per cent per year. They usually call it per annum, right? It applies to both simple interest and compound interest. Now, with the simple interest, what you do, or the other situation I'm talking about is where the bank gives you an interest. They say to you, come in, open an account with us, and we'll give you whatever interest um, they want to give you to encourage you to come in and open that account and encourage other people to come in and open account with them right they want you to give them or to lend them your money so that they can use it and make money on it all right with a simple interest you come in you open the account and after a period of time you they give you an interest a certain amount of money with that interest what they do they pay you that interest and they could do it by writing you a check or asking you to open a different account and they send it to that other account now the money that you started out with let's put it here they call it the principal you invested a certain amount of money the principal and they give you an interest on that all right now that interest is paid out let's say by way of a check or it could be another account all right so other account or a check all right so that's one way some persons write check c-h-e-q-u-e -E. all right now that principle remains they're not supposed to go in to the account and touch the initial amount of money you invested additionally you are not supposed to come in the arrangement with that account is that you are not supposed to come in and touch that money either right unless of course it's an emergency and they will punish you by charging you a certain amount of money for doing that so it's the same money that you have that principal is the same amount of money untouched and when the time comes again for you to get another interest they pay you that interest 
so remember you invest the principal when the time comes when they say the amount the in investment materials they pay you an interest and they send it to some other account or write you a check that same money same principal same money when the time comes again they pay you out an interest and they send it to your other your other account or write you a check when the time comes again this is this keeps repeating we we'll see it more clearly when we do an example now remember remember now that this money the the bank is not supposed to go in and change it you are not supposed to go in and change it for the period of time it is invested so it is called a fixed deposit all right so you will find that fixed deposits attract or it the interest on fixed deposit is what is called a simple interest with the compound interest now the bank says to you come in open an account with us you can come in anytime any number of times during the day you can withdraw you can join the line make a withdrawal if you want to go outside do your business make some money more money come in you can make a deposit add that money to your account and you can do it every day of the week if you want no problem when the bank pays you your interest they go into the account and add it to that account all right so what happens here is that you invest that money as the principal Now, when the time comes for, the, for them to pay you that interest, they pay you the interest and that interest is added to that money you have. So you have new money. A new amount of money you have now have more money in the account even if you have never touched that account before when the time comes for you to get interest again the new interest is charged it is calculated on that new money and it is added and updated so you have new amount of money again And the next time the interest is calculated, let me write up, try to write a bit better than that. I N T E R E S T. You have interest calculated again. The bank goes into your account, it doesn't pay out to a different account or write you a check they go into your account and add that interest to the money you have so you have a new amount of money right so that is a compound interest and the type of account that this is is not a fixed deposit it is called a savings account all right i didn't put the fixed deposit account on this but this is a fixed deposit account all right and this is a savings account so you find that simple interest is paid on fixed deposit account the money is fixed they call it a fixed deposit because you, the, that money remains the same it is fixed and it is the same interest that is um, paid every time it is fixed neither the bank 
nor you are supposed to go in and touch that money they may say they give you a certain amount of money every 30 days 60 days which is um, two months or every three months they will say it will mature after six months or a year or sometimes up to five years when the time comes they say it matures you can close the account and take out everything at that time or you can instruct them what to do what should we do should we close the account or should we just give you the interest and remain let the account remain for another period of time so that's fixed deposit account compound interest is charged on savings account it's not fixed you can go in there and trouble the money any number of times you want every time you get an interest the bank goes into your account and add the interest to your money to get a new money all right so that happens with savings account all right so that's basic basically um the, a few of the main differences between simple interest and compound interest what we want to do is look at a few examples a few examples um for example of to show the basic differences more clearly between simple interest and compound interest but we'll do that in a different video so i'll see you